Let's talk a little bit about your uh, your design process. So, so tell us about um, how you begin a piece. You know, from the very earliest conception mm -hmm. and 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 mm -hmm. all the way through the the end. Mm -hmm. Typically, I know different pieces are going to be different, right. but right, right. Where do you, where do you start? Okay. Well, the first piece that I thought of that popped into my head um, was or is my wall pods and how the inspiration for that was when Roger and I stopped in Asheville to pick up clay and we took our dogs for a walk along the railroad track and there was this um, royal, I found out later, royal polonia tree or royal empress tree, invasive tree from China that uh, has these gorgeous purple flowers in the spring, although I didn't know that at the time either. But what, was, what I saw was the very end result of these pods that were just beautiful. They looked like little hearts that had opened up and they were very black at that point and all the seeds had come out and so I you know I snipped off a couple of branches and kept them in my studio and I kept looking at them and I kept thinking I love these I want to do something with them and so about two years later I went back to do a workshop at Odyssey in fact I think that was the first workshop in clay that I had ever done and um, I think I probably uh, brought along some of those pods and I was telling my students about them and they wanted to go visit the tree which was just down the street and around the corner so we went to visit this tree which at that time had pods that were these little beautiful brilliant green fuzzy pods you know I'd never seen them at that stage so then I brought those back to the studio and so I thought, I, this is time, you know, for me to start. And so I actually made the pods when they're open, they're like two little halves. Of course, they're hollow and they have a little piece down the middle. And so I do these exchanges that are called signature card exchanges with people. And this was my signature piece that I gave a little one to every single one in the class. And then I was working at the governor's school. South Carolina Governor's School for the Arts and Humanities. And, um, oh, that's another great story that, I don't know, Clay just was not held in as high esteem as I thought it should be. So when the show, end of the year show came along, it seemed like there was never enough pedestals for the Clay pieces, for my liking, because I was very proud of what the kids were doing. And so the next year, what I decided to do was have everybody do a wall piece. 